seem quite the same intensity as a month ago. Uh, I mean, for both sides, the fans here, Randy, what do, what do you take away from this game here tonight? Uh, I thought, you know, it, it just that we give up a goal shorthanded, five on three, we get a bounce, and it, it was like we were trying to catch the, the game the rest of the night. We had all kinds of opportunities. And I think we had probably 10 to 12 grade-A scoring chances, uh, either a backdoor play that we didn't get the puck up or there was some post here, post there. It was one of those nights for us, and our power play didn't really deliver any momentum for us in the hockey game, and consequently it, it, it ended up like that. And we, we had a charge to start the th uh, third period. We score a big goal, and then we got them hemmed in basically for better part of three or four minutes and they make a cross ice pass and Cole puts one upstairs. So that was kind of it for the hockey game. Greg, you came in with very trying circumstances. You know, the deck was kind of stacked against you, but now you'll get a fresh start next year. What words of advice do you have for any player that wants to play for you next season with the Leafs? Well, there's an understanding that there's a higher level in which we have to commit to as a team and as an organization. These players have to commit to a higher level of intensity, uh, conditioning, and uh, uh, all-out work ethic. And that's not going to be something that's going to be taken very lightly. Uh, we're going to maintain that there is more for this group to give, and we're going to ask more, and they're very prepared to bring more. This team was competitive through 53 games this season, and I guess that's teaching that group to, to do it over 82? I, I think, again, it's the the way that uh, that I see this hockey club has to play has to be closer to playoff style hockey game in game out versus the 52 games how do you get that out of it's, our, it's the coaching staff's job to bring that out of your players it's our job and it's our it's the job of the player to accept his role and and to uh, commit to it is there any direct instruction you give to some of the players that you know are going to come back or is that something that they just have to learn on their own? No, we'll have a chance for one-on-one -on -one meetings on Monday. I'll meet with every player before he leaves. Uh, then we have an exit medical scheduled for Monday and then I'll meet with every player before uh, he leaves. We always, that's the normal course, there's always exit meetings so and, and you know it's not like I'm going anywhere. I'm going to be around for as long as it takes here to, to finish up the end of the year. Is it fair to say you'll be pretty demanding on the guys next year, like right from the get-go, so they have an understanding of what you expect? Well, I think there's the demanding is, it, or I would say, depending on the expectations, if demanding is, I don't know, is that part of coaching? Is it to demand excellence? To strive for excellence? I, I, you know, that's that's way I've been taught to... to uh, I, approach the game. You don't play the game to be second. You come here to win. You play the game to win. And if there's things within the game that you feel that are necessary to be pushed, then the push will come. But you can't just be push, push, push. It's, there's got to be a, a, a human side to it at all, all times. Have you had experience changing the habits of a group that, that are long established? Well, when you coach the number of years I have, you have all kinds of players and uh, there's certain traits and strengths of players and you want to again build on their strengths and hopefully help them improve in their weaknesses and if, if some of them have that weakness of, of you know not not committing to what we want then we're going to do what we have to do to get them on our side do you take a special interest as to what the marlies are going to do now just give it's it always an interesting when your minor league team is having success you know and they played very well and their type of hockey for the American Hockey League is tight checking defensive hockey.